Welcome back to part three of our series entitled Exploring the App MVC Couch. In parts one and two, we learned about CouchDB and ext.js4. Those are the tools we're going to use to build the app. But before we do, I just wanted to spend some time um, exploring the finished application. So let's go ahead and do that. This is what MVC Couch looks like. Um, you can view it in a browser. I'm using Firefox version 5. And uh, you'll notice I'm sh demonstrating MVC Couch out of my local instance of CouchDB. So you can see this is a very simple application. The purpose is simply to demonstrate a, a technique that I learned to achieve CRUD with ext.js4 and CouchDB as the back end. So first let's take a look at the front end here. It's a simple graphical user interface consisting of two grids. Uh, the user group documents grid on the top is like a master grid. And then the user details grid below is like a detail grid. And as the tip shows you here, if you click a row, you'll notice uh, as I change user groups in this grid, the users, individual users that belong to that group are updated in the grid below it. Uh, each grid allows you to edit the fields. So if you double click, you'll get a nice form. This is just like the uh, MVC guide since you provided. And uh, you can edit the fields here by using the form. You can, uh, you can add new documents by clicking the Add button. It will automatically add it and put it on the top. When you click on it, you notice there's an auto-generated uh, detail associated with the document already, but it's got these red triangles, which indicate that it's flagged dirty, that, that this record is not saved back to the database. Using a form, uh, add a, a user to the group here. We'll just call this guy a user. And his email is, uh, say, user. at group.net save him and it's saved to the store here locally in, in RAM but um, it's not saved to the server yet that's what these two buttons are for sync users and sync selected document uh, will save back to CouchDB whatever changes we make in our front end here so let's go ahead and do that with this newly created document we made we'll sync users we'll get a uh, notification here that only the selected document will be saved. So that's okay. And you'll notice now there are no more red triangles. This is currently served out of the database. And uh, so you can add records that way. You can also edit information to the top grid. We'll call the user group, uh, I don't know, cool guys. The region is uh, Stairs, I guess. Let me just use today's date for the date. We'll save that. We'll notice that's marked dirty. So this change has not been saved. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now you'll notice that Cool Guys is saved. So that's how you can uh, use the Add and Delete buttons with, uh, or Add button, I should say. Let's go ahead and delete this to show the Delete button. Whatever you have selected. Uh, when you hit this delete button, it'll, it'll delete it. You'll get a, a confirmation screen. You can bail on if you want to. But we'll go ahead and say yes and delete it. And you'll see that it's, it's no longer here. And it's also been deleted from the back end. And the same is true with our user details. If you click a user group up here and you see all the users that belong to that group, you can add users. And it'll add these uh, empty records that's by design you can delete users like I'll pick this one here and, and delete it and it'll just take it right out of the store uh, you can also once a user is created you can double click it like we did before and add the, the name and email of it just like so. And again, once we hit this button, it will write it to the database. And uh, you see that he's been saved. Hi there. So very simple, very simple application, and that's basically how you use it. 
So next, I'd like to kind of show you what's going on in the back end. So I have uh, in this tab a view of my local install of CouchDB, CouchBase server, and this is of course Futon. So let me just show you some things that are going on so you can uh, get oriented with the front end and the back end working together. Uh, first of all, look at this record here. This document ID and this rev ID for the user group birds corresponds to this document ID and this rev ID. So if we want to see what that looks like in Futon, we just click this link and here we see the user group name is birds and the region south for the winter, the date stored here, the ID of the document and the rev ID here and then inside of that we have an array of objects, in this case just one object and this corresponds to the user, Lou Hurons and his email. And if you look back at the uh, front end, that's what we see in the detail grid. We see Blue Hurons and his email here. If I add another user, instead of a Blue Huron, let's, let's make a, a hummingbird. And his email is uh, happy at days.com and save him and we sync the users you'll see in the back end when I refresh this document page here now we have two users in our array and of course this is a field view of our document and if we want to look at the raw JSON view, we can just click the source tab here and you see the JSON structure. So of course, this is a view of documents that we're using as data documents. But what about our application? What does that look like in CouchDB? Well, as you probably may know already, CouchDB stores application information in a special document called a design document. And so our application is stored in this underscore design MVC couch document. And if we click on that link, you'll see some interesting uh, things appear. Uh, CouchDB documents can have uh, binary blob data as attachments. So we're storing in this document all of these images and other resources that, that EXTJS4 provided for us. We're also um, storing as attachments all our JavaScript files like this user edit.js in our CSS and HTML everything is being housed as an attachment in this design document. And the only other significant thing I want to show you that relates to our tutorial anyway is the views, uh, how you can view your data in different ways and then you can query against the view to, to just see the results that you want filtered out of, the, out of the view. So we'll talk about this later too, but this is, this is what a, an application looks like in CouchDB using Futon to view it. And I just want to mention one more uh, thing about these design documents. Since we're housing our application in the same database as our data, and since CouchDB has its own web server, and we're serving our app from that domain, this is a nice way of getting around the uh, cross-domain security policy browsers enforce for, for AJAX. So we can do full CRUD if we serve our application as a Couch app. The next thing I want to show you is how MVC Couch uses CouchDB's RESTful API to do its reading and writing of the database. So to do that, I'm going to switch back to our MVC Couch app, and I'm going to turn on uh, Firebug, which is our uh, JavaScript de debugger, or at least the one that I use. And we're going to look at the console and see get, put, post, and delete requests going on here that match what CouchDB is expecting. And of course, as we build our application, I'm going to show you how to set up your, your REST proxy in EXTJS so that you can properly talk to CouchDB when you do CRUD operations. So let's just demonstrate that real quick. You'll notice if I go up here and uh, add a new document to this grid, I perform a post operation. 
and Couch replies with a 201 message that the new document has been created. And you'll notice because it's a post, Couch will automatically give me uh, a GUID for the document ID and a unique string and revision number for the rev ID. So that's already been done on the back end. Our app is written such, such that after a post is made, we'll do a uh, store.load. So we're going to do a get. And you'll notice that the get URI is different than the post URI. We have to set that up correctly in our app. It's querying the database in a completely different way. We're actually querying a view in order to, uh, to populate this grid. Now, uh, when we do an edit, like let's say we made this new document, and we go ahead and change some information, like delete me. Um, it's dirty. Both the uh, master and detail aspect of the JSON is dirty. And notice what happens when we do a sync here. The application is designed on updates to do a put operation. So that's what the application did. It did a put and it pushed the changes and we got our 2 or 1 created response. And the app is designed after every post and after every put and as we'll show in a second after every delete We'll always do a new get. We'll always reload the grid from this view. So let's go ahead and demonstrate a delete. We'll go ahead and pick the document we just made. Delete me. And we'll delete that document here. You'll notice we get a delete request against CouchDB. And this URI is different than the others as well. And we'll explain why when we get further into our tutorial series. So you see we're getting full CRUD just using ExtJS4's REST proxy. Now one nice thing about CouchDB is that its API is completely RESTful. Let's take a look at that using this GET request as an example. This GET request corresponds with this URI. Here. And as you can see, we're seeing the raw JSON that's returned by CouchDB when we make this request. This is what the results of a view function look like in CouchDB. And I just want to spend a second here explaining why I am using a, a CouchDB view to read in data to my ext.js4 application instead of trying to read documents directly. Well, the reason I'm doing it that way is because it's easier and can more convenient. Um, you'll notice that a view result shows you JSON. You get a couple of outer keys here, a couple of outer properties, total rows, offset. But then you get the rows property. And what is the rows property? It's an array of objects. So it is already formatted in a way that ExtJS4's new data package is expecting. And so there's no fuss, no muss if you do it this way. Whereas if you try to read in documents directly, you're going to have to come up with some custom solution to deal with uh, document ID fields and revision fields and other, and other complications. So that's about it for my little introduction to MVC Couch and a little tour of it. Uh, just to sum up, we go back to the app interface. We have two grids. Uh, the top grid represents a master view of the data, and the bottom grid represents a detail view, so master detail relationship here. Uh, the top view represents uh, the actual document, and these fields here correspond with outer JSON. Looking at it in uh, Futon, look at the JSON view. These fields here correspond with these fields here. And then the detail view is nested JSON or inner JSON is another way of saying it. So these records here in the app correspond with this array of objects here in the same document. And finally, we are reading in data into our application using CouchDB views. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief tutorial. Look forward now to finally being able to build the application, and that's what we'll focus on for the remainder of our series. Thank you very much, and have a great day.